guys, I'm going to do some uh, loose curls with the flat iron. This is actually more like messy curls. Um, I usually like to do this when my hair's really dirty, but um, it's fine. I'll do, it'll still be fine. It works better when your hair's really dirty. Um, it's a lot messier, but um, it's all good. It'll still work fine. I'm going to go ahead and um, part my hair, separate it for this. And uh, by the way, I think I'm going to have to uh, redo my uh, last few videos I posted because apparently I've been breaking some rules. You aren't supposed to, uh, I guess, put music in your videos. It's like copywriting apparently. You know, I don't know a whole lot still. I'm learning, so I'm sorry, YouTube. Please don't strike me. But, yeah, I guess I can't use music in my videos because it's not mine and all that. I didn't tag and stuff. I don't know. Still learning, figuring that out. So, probably have to do those over. Alright, so what I use is a Babyliss U Styler flat iron. Does not have to have this fancy little um, plate. On the outside for this to work it's as long as it's like a nice small size if you have one of those real big square ones it's definitely not gonna work anything more skinny like this is gonna work um, I'm gonna use some light chi hairspray and I'm also gonna use my fave right here the rockaholic because it's gonna give my hair some texture even though I'm not using it for uh, the dry shampoo it gives it that texture that you need you can use any kind of light hairspray. You don't have to use these products, just the ones I recommend. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna part my hair just like how I did in the other video. Ow, this ring hurts my finger. Oh. Sorry. So I'm gonna part my hair and I'm gonna start on this side with my cool little stretch. All right, I'm gonna take this piece. Now with this, you can't necessarily use like really big pieces. Just like, you know, this size, I typically say whatever matches your flat iron is a good size. So we're going to go away from the face. The key to this is doing a steady motion all the way through. If you get in here and you're curling and you're like, stop, and boop, 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 all the way through, that's when you see all that jaggedness. So the key is getting it in there and doing a nice motion. Key, key, key to this. A lot of people can't do this because they get um, the kinks and stuff. That's why you're getting kinks, you guys, because you're not doing a nice steady motion. And if you're not getting a steady motion, your pieces are too big. All right, got it? Got it, got it, got it? Okay. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take this piece. I don't really like to spray before on this because this is really, really, really strong curl. You don't really need to spray it. All right, here we go. I'm going to do a complete um, circle, whatever, and pull that through. All right, see that? So there we go. I'm going to take it, and I said complete circle. We're going to take this and completely turn it the entire way, all right? So it goes on here and all the way. And make sure all this hair before you start pulling is in there. Whatever hairs aren't in there aren't going to curl. So see these little guys were not in there and they didn't curl. They just fell out. Let those fall out. But see how tight that is? This is the reason I don't really use this is because it's so tight. But some people like it, you know. It is cute, it's just really not my thing. Alright, so see how this little, before I pull it, I'm just chilling for a second to make sure. See that tail? Follow it through. Just go straight through. And the reason I do it separate is because you're able to see where your hair, these pieces are. All the way, get that little tail out and follow it and trace that tail all right see that see those tight little curls i'm gonna do the same over here 
could not see because I don't have a mirror over here, so I'm doing this completely blind here. Did you guys see how that motion is, uh, the motion that I'm doing is just a nice constant motion? Alright, real quick. So I've been seeing a lot of these uh, aluminum foil pearl pictures. And I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, that's so cool and it looks so easy, blah, blah, blah. First of all, you're taking like this size pieces on your whole head. Do you guys realize how long that's going to take you? I mean, go ahead and try it, but I, I'm not even recommending it because one, it's going to take you guys forever. Yeah, it's cool and stuff, but you got to sit there and you got to take every piece. You got to wrap it, grab your little wrap, put it in there, wrap it up your whole entire head. Then you got to go through and take this and put it on there, which is not even... I, it's really not even like known to be safe because if you guys have metallic dye on your hair which is in a lot of box color a lot of box color if that's in your hair and you use that aluminum foil and that heat that is a bad chemical reaction that will it could literally melt your hair off I mean I have one time this has happened to me on my client I will never forget this and if you're watching this video you know who you are because it was so scary but I didn't know that there was a tag dye in her hair. I don't think she knew it either. Um, and we foiled her hair. It was in highlights, and all of a sudden, that heat with that metallic dye, it literally, the foil started smoking. It was hot. I had to rinse it out immediately. It's scary. So I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm not saying you have metallic dye in your hair, but I just, I'm not going to recommend it, and I'm definitely not going to do it. So. I mean, it's, you can easily do this just if, in half the time. I'm so bad for I can't really see what's the hair split how you can see all the hair where it goes where and if you're not having to go behind your head and find them now I am gonna check this right here the spot that's in the back and do one right there Bounce it, bounce it. First thing I'm gonna spray is the uh, can I talk? The dry shampoo. So what I'm gonna do is 
literally lift and spray this and just get it in there. And start shaking these bad boys out. See how I'm just shaking it? And I want mine, I like mine super messy, so I'm really just kind of spraying it all. So after it's shaken out, it's super cute. Um, obviously, if your hair is longer, you're not going to get like this much of bounce. But um, any hair that's like, I don't know, I would say a little past the collarbone and up, you'll get this bounce. Um, with your hair longer, instead of, you know, shaking it, you want to just kind of run your fingers through it so that it all kind of goes into one. Longer hair, I really don't recommend using a flat iron curl because it is so tight. I would do the curling iron. But if you if you uh, like the, the flat iron curls and they're easier for you, then more power to you. Go ahead and use it with whatever is easy and convenient for you. Remember that. But I hope that this was really helpful and um, easy. I remember the biggest thing is when you are doing the actual curl to prevent creases, you got to just do a nice motion and follow that little tail because that tail has to be sticking out. If it's falling out, it's not curling. So do the nice steady motion. If you're not getting a nice steady motion, you're either, you could be, you know, holding this way too tight. Kind of ease it up a little bit so that it can kind of glide through but has a nice grip or your sections are too big and it can't get through. This is probably the hardest way to curl your hair, I think, on yourself. It's easier to do on other people than it is yourself, but if you get it down, I mean, it is pretty, and these curls do last longer versus the regular curling iron curls, but um, it is a little more challenging. But if you get it down, it's really 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 nice because of how long the curls last so um, try it out you guys and let me know how you do tag me um, if you want to get notifications on when I post my videos please subscribe comment share tag me all of that thanks for watching